It's super sunny at the moment and I'm trying to cross the road but there are cars and right over there that is the Grand Palace. I'm going to take a photo with the elephant as well. So I just went into that um, temple, Wat Ho, and right behind me, that is the Grand Palace. As you can see, there are like so many barricades, so many policemen, because um, since the late king um, passed away, like about a year ago, I think, I believe, in 2016, um, they're still in mourning, they're still doing it for like um, nearly a year now. Even uh, the new king is uh, crowning soon. That's why like they have like so many securities and stuff. And if you want to go pass through the road, you have to um, show your ID, such as passport or national ID card. Go through there and then get into the um, Grand Palace alone. I think they told me around 500 baht. So I'm not sure if we're going to get in or not. So the shadow bus behind me is free. I have no idea where they're going. Just gonna take it because it's free. And maybe they just go around the uh, uh, palace. But the lower. Yeah. And I'm going upstairs. Which has no one in it. Yes. Did I hit the roof? No. Nah. Ah, yep, I just hit the roof. And we're going to take a tour. It's just a shuttle bus from the beginning of the road to the end and then now it's going back. So we don't have to walk far. See, this fan is the showcase of Asian country and guess what? This is Angkor Wat from Cambodia. That is my country. Angkor Wat. We got that and then we got Bayon Temple which is the center of Angkor Thom. And then like introduction, pretty much intro of Cambodian words. We got Sul's Day which is hello. And then this one. It's a thing I love between buy watermelon. I don't know why they put it there. What do we have here? Oh, we have the Brum Temple. As you can see, there's like tree growing out of the temple and stuff. One day three, which is a great temple, by the way. It was built before Angkor Wat as well. And oh, I think that is Lao. Lao. So I think Cambodia just finished from there. And the Grand Palace over there, we haven't been there yet, so I'm gonna walk to the entrance right now. Oh, my mistake. I thought it was Lao, but it's actually Indonesia, right after Cambodia, because C and an I. Oh, I've never been there. It's in Bali. I am turning red right now. I've got sunburned so bad. Look. All the tea area and stuff. Luckily, we got to take a lot of photos from the outside. It's so hot, I couldn't like, couldn't bear it. We have to go back. Oh. Plus, it's like 2.30 at the moment, so we don't want to be late for, because um, we haven't packed. We have, we have packed already, but the, the, to go inside, you spend at least like two or three hours, which we don't have. <laughs> Because there are a lot of people at the moment, but I've got to show you from the top. Wow, look at the view from up here. It's so sunny. And I think over there, they have like special occasion. That's why you see a lot of um, Thai citizens dressed in black. I think they do it every Sunday to like send prayers and stuff to the late king. I'm going to zoom in and see how many people are there. So many of them, look. And the dress in black in summer, wow. Wow, sun burned so bad. I have asked the, uh, one of the security and they said that the Grand Palace is going to close in an hour. So luckily we didn't choose to go, so that's, that's fine. And because like today they do like special ceremony for the late king, that's why they have to close a bit early, I think from what they told me and yeah so now we're going back to our hotel I'm so only yeah 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 hello and 
and they're driving um, our taxi to the hotel right now. Initially, they did not know where to go, but then they called the hotel, so that's good. And look at the street. It is very quiet on Sunday. Just got off the taxi. It cost us 90 baht, but we pay 100 just like, you know, tip him and everything. It was a good ride actually. He showed us around quite a bit uh, of, like, oh, there's a cat. And now we're going to our room and take a shower and take some rest for dinner. So we just got back to our room and look at me. Oh my god. There's like sunburns everywhere. Like here, here, here. Like my rose, my face pretty much it entirely. And my neck, look. Oh, this side's not too bad, but like just on this half of the body. God, and then my arm as well, like so red. Like tomorrow it's going to be so hectic because. Um, we have to get up really early at 5. Our flight is at 8.20 to Phnom Penh, Cambodia, but we have to leave here around like 6. 5.30 or 6, so we have to get up at 5. Right now I'm going to take some rest and shower. See you soon. What's up everyone? I'm back and look, I'm still red. Oh, I've got a shower and a rest. Anyway, right now we're on our way to Chinatown. Try to find something to eat for dinner. So hopefully there's something worth it and right now we're trying to catch a bus oh. number 73 or 204 and uh, apparently it's cheap so why not? We all know it's China town and we're riding the bus 204 Look, the floor made out from, made from boots it's so uh, retro in a way and it's, it's very spacious. I think right now we have Big C again, just like right behind there. Central World over there. Too much shopping. Can't wait to get some dinner. Chinatown in Bangkok. Normally, like, I came here last year. It was more crowded than this. That's the gate. That's all the other shops over there. All Chinese ancient medicine. I used to eat some of them before, like oh, when you brew it, the broth, the drink is so milky brown. Yucky, but it does the job good. Seafood cut. Jurin. We have been spending like half an hour to an hour walking around the street of Chinatown here and then we found a place coincidentally the seller is Cambodian as well like my family is so happy to find him so we can speak the language instead of speaking English or Thai and him right there he's Cambodian he's been living in um, Bangkok, Thailand for like four years now so he flew in in Thai and we ordered some I think three dishes of bird nest one shark fin and our other one, I'm not, I forgot. Well. The so called shark fin. The one and only. Honestly, it looked like a vegetable to me. Oh, delicious. I got my dish now. It's called bird nest and it's the red version. This is a cold dish as well, um, full with ice. And I'm going to try it like Asian style.
The seller behind me was like, what is he doing? This is quite sweet actually. I'm used to the one in the like package. The small one in the small box container. But this one's really fresh, sweet. It's some sort of dessert maybe, but apparently it's good for your health. Especially for Chinese people. Just then, the seller gave us a free sample, like because we bought like five dishes already and the shark fin already. So all together, he gave us like a little container of bird net, and it's not cheap, guys. At least this is like a hundred baht, which is around around four Australian dollars. Yum. So my mom just told me that this much, 200 baht. Wow, it's like nearly 10 Australian dollars. So expensive, and he gave us a free. Thank you, Sarah. He probably doesn't even hear me, but yeah, the best. So if you ever come to Bangkok, Chinese Chinatown, just come to his shop. Look at the size at that blood clams, like so big, gigantic. So we just finished our light dinner just then. It cost a um, thousand and three hundred baht in total, but it's totally worth it. It was so delicious. Um, the reason that we got that because this is our last night in Bangkok, and we had like to spend like in bulk. We have to like eat a lot because like this is our last night, right? So we like go hard or go home. So like we came here and ate all the expensive stuff. Um, we ate street food earlier, which I did not film. That's why we came here. It was like amazing. And under this light, I look so red right now. But yeah, it was totally worth it. Just left the um, Chinatown right now. We're trying to find our way to the bus stop for number 73. Uh, apparently it's like five more minutes of walking. So that's good. Hopefully, there's still a bus for us to catch because it costs way cheaper than taking a tuk-tuk or um, a taxi. I have no idea where I'm at. I trust Google Maps, so don't fail me, guys. Okay, so right now, we're on the bus on our way to hotel. This number is 73. It's different from the one that we took earlier. Um, but it's closer to our hotel and we pay 13 baht for one person. So in total, 65 baht for five people. And yeah, and this bus is quite modern as well, as you can see. I just arrived from the Chinatown. It was an amazing experience. Surprisingly, we found a Cambodian chef who made our soup as well. Anyway, now we got back to our hotel. We're going to leave uh, like really early tomorrow at like 5.30 a.m. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Click like and subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Follow me on Instagram. And I'm signing off from Bangkok, Thailand. See you next time. Have a good day.